Desert Lynx Cat vs. Savannah Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Desert Lynx's coat pattern is either spotted, ticked, or clouded. Chocolate brown, silver, ebony, and blue are common color combinations for the cat. Brushing the cat once or twice a week should be enough when it comes to grooming a Desert Lynx. This will assist keep the feline's coat in good condition and reduce the likelihood of mats developing. Make the most of your grooming time by bonding with your feline companion. Most Desert Lynx cats are fairly adaptive to climate. Just keep in mind that during the hottest months, there should always be adequate shade and fresh water accessible. Savannas are available in a variety of colors and patterns, including black, brown, or black spotted tabby, black silver spotted tabby, and black smoke. On golden, cream, sandy, or white backgrounds, most feature solid black or dark brown dots. They are distinguished by their large, solid patterns, which might be circular, oval, or elongated. Some savannas have a marble pattern, in which the spots seem like an extended bullseye. Because domestic short hairs were part of their ancestors, some savannas have colors and patterns that aren't included in the breed standard, such as chocolate, cinnamon, blue, red, and color point. Savannas with non-standard hues can be registered but not shown. The savannah's triangular head is supported by a long neck and topped by large, wide ears. The medium size eyes can be any color. Nose leather ranges from pink to black, but black savannas must have solid black nose leather. A savannah has a medium length tail. Her unusual height comes from her long-legged serval ancestor. If you've been considering adopting a desert lynx, you might be wondering exactly what sort of cat you're going to be living with. First of all, despite the feline's action-packed name, the Desert Lynx is considered to be a totally domesticated cat. In fact, the mixed breed has picked up a reputation for being more like a dog than a cat at times. So expect your Desert Lynx to act like a faithful companion who will like to follow you around and be by your side, whether you're relaxing on the couch with a good book or pottering around the kitchen preparing dinner. This is a very social cat who forms long-lasting bonds with the loving humans in their life. The Desert Lynx has a strong playful side, so you'll need to be able to commit to regular play sessions and also provide a living environment that gives the cat the option to roam around and explore. If you want to live with a sweet, quiet lap cat, don't get a savanna. This is an active, adventurous feline who enjoys life in the fast lane. Her athletic body allows her to jump to very high places, and her questing spirit leads her to take well to walks on a leash, seek out water to play in, and thoroughly explore her surroundings. This is a confident, alert, curious, and friendly cat. While some cats are retiring sorts, most savannas are gracious hosts who will greet your guests with aplomb, as well as close companions who will want to spend time interacting with you. Be sure you have a well-developed sense of humor if you live with one of these cats, they are not above playing jokes on you. It takes a highly intelligent person to outwit a savanna. You may need to switch faucet styles to prevent them from turning on their own private waterworks or attach child-proof locks to keep them out of cabinets. Don't forget to protect breakables. Put them away where the savannah can't knock them over as she makes one of her famous leaps, and ensure electrical cords are protected from gnawing kittens. Provide savannah with toys that will stand up to rough play and interactive games that will challenge her mind. To live happily with savannah, plan to spend plenty of time interacting with her. Be sure she has interesting toys to occupy her when you're not around. Reward her when she does things you like, and redirect her energy and interests when she does things you don't like. Protect special belongings by putting them out of reach. If all of this sounds like too much work, choose a different cat. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. As with all cats, it's important to keep up your Desert Lynx's regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. Beyond scheduling yearly wellness visits with your vet, make sure that you pick up a scratching post for your Desert Lynx cat's living environment. This can help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition, which is a vital consideration for any feline. The Desert Lynx's ears should be examined regularly for signs of dirt building up or possible infection. Talk to your vet about starting a regular tooth brushing regimen that will suit your Desert Lynx. Your vet can advise you about specific brands and techniques. Finally, the Desert Lynx will appreciate a cat tree to play and interact with, so definitely look into adding one to your home. Brush a savanna short to medium length coat once or twice a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. 
It's a good idea to provide a savanna with a large outdoor enclosure or to keep her as an indoor-only cat to prevent diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Savannas who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have a unique and beautiful cat without paying for it. Be aware some cities or states have laws against keeping hybrid or exotic animals. While the cats registered with Tika are considered fully domestic, a first or second generation savanna, meaning one who has a serval as a parent or grandparent, may face restrictions. Check the laws in your area before purchasing any savanna that could fall under laws governing hybrids. Check the hybrid law for more information. The desert lynx is often cited as a great cat for households with kids. Just make sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides. Supervise interactions between young children and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the desert lynx can get along with many other domestic animals, although, you should exercise caution if you already have smaller pets. Always make sure to supervise playtime between the new cat and existing pets. Sometimes these relationships are very much dependent on the individual pet's personalities. Early socialization really pays off with this mixed breed. Make sure to reward your desert lynx for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. The active and social savanna is a good choice for families with older children and cat-friendly dogs. She likes to play, learns tricks easily, is often willing to walk on a leash, and appreciates the attention she receives from children who treat her politely and with respect. If you are away during the day, it's probably a good idea to provide your savanna with a companion. Another savanna, another cat breed, or even a dog. Most savannas get along well with dogs, especially if they were raised with them. Otherwise, a period of adjustment may be necessary for both Savannah and the dog. Introduce them gradually, and ensure they are both always under control until you are sure that they have come to an amicable understanding. With other cats, Savannahs do best with breeds who either have a similar personality and activity level, such as Abyssinians, Siamese, or Oriental Shorthairs, or more laid-back cats such as Maine Coons, Ragdolls, or domestic Shorthairs who will just yawn good-naturedly as they watch the Savannah swing on the chandelier. Some pets aren't safe in the presence of this stealthy cat. Think twice about getting a savanna if you have pet birds, pocket pets such as hamsters, mice, guinea pigs, or rats, or an aquarium full of fish. The savanna is a very fine hunter and can probably get past any safeguards that you attempt to put up. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.